Carter, uh, April 4th, or August 14th. Um, Secretary, please uh, record the roll of officers present. Uh, note there is a quorum. Do we have uh, the, mo the minutes of the previous meeting on July 10th in your packet? Are there any corrections or additions? None. Is there a motion to approve? Mr. Chairman, I would approve the minutes as recorded. Motion by Pat. <coughs> to approve the minutes, is there a second? I'll second. Second by Corey. Any further discussion? All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carried without dissent. On our regular uh, agenda for the 14th of August, to consider a request to reduce the minimum R2 zone lot width of 45 feet to 43.5 feet. The site is located at 3344 Cody Drive. And is there, are you here to speak for that? I am. Uh, yeah. Would you come to the podium and give us your name and sure. all the particulars? Sure. I'm Jeremy Wood with Northern, Northern Plains Engineering, um, representing the applicant. Uh, Boyd Liebeck. Um, it's a simple lot split. The, uh, it's a little deficient on the frontage uh, by two to three feet, depending on which lot you're looking at. Um, it's located up in Cook's Meadow Hills 4th edition. It is, like I said, deficient by two to three feet on the frontage width. Um, but I guess one thing I should point out, the, uh, the lot area is 7,000 square feet or more, so it's um, certainly in excess of the minimum for that. Um, there is a, a letter that the applicant um, sent all the board members, which I think pretty, pretty much explains um, why they think it's, they should be entitled to do it. And um, Other than that, I can answer any questions, but it's a little deficient on the lot frontage, but I guess the other thing I do want to point out is that uh, the lot isn't exactly square. It actually gets wider the further you get in. So by the, by the uh, um, further you get in, it, it gets wider. So probably have to set back. It's probably quite a bit closer than, than the minimum. OK, uh, questions for Jeremy? Morning, Haley. Morning. Any questions? Uh, I, I do have, have a comment. I, I concur with what Jeremy has stated. Uh, although the letter that was submitted by uh, Boyd Liebeck, uh, this, this structure was built as a duplex. Um, and and it, it met the, the code for a duplex. And when you, when you sell off a particular split that and sell it off, if, if that was the intention at the time of the uh, submittal of the application, it would have been denied. Um, I think we've, we've gone over this a, a number of times. This isn't the, the only one that uh, was allowed. Structures there, um, uh, it was built, uh, I, I guess, probably to rent, so that there might not have been any intention to actually split it and sell it off. But I just want everyone to be aware that uh, it would not have been permitted um, if, if actually the, the intention was to split them. With that said, still, uh, uh, some of these have been, lot splits were uh, already done by the planning department without Board of Adjustment approval. Um, so uh, this kind of follows suit with those same types of lots. So then this goes from a duplex to a twin home? Is that what? Single family attached. Single family attached, yeah. okay. You said they were built as? Duplex. A part. duplex as it's in as They have their fire wall ratings. Yes. And they have uh, the state that. mandates that even a duplex be built as a single family attached. Yes. Just in case something like it's a in order yes. something like this could happen so it they haven't built. Lot. Yes. Um. <clears throat> Can we take both these at the same time? Or they should they be separate? 
it's going to end up being separate properties, so I'd okay. say we'd do, okay. do we'll take them separate. Yeah, just for the property records to have them um, separate okay. motions would be good. Very good. Other questions? Comments? If not, is there a motion to deny or approve the request? Mr. Chairman, I move to approve the variance finding that the requirements of section 39.12.011 have been met by the applicant for the variance. Motion, motion by Bruce to approve the variance. <clears throat> is there a second? I'll second. Second by Trevor. Further discussion? Hearing none. Bruce. Aye. Trevor. Aye. Pat. Aye. Corey. Aye. And I'll vote aye. Okay. Number two on the regular agenda to consider a request to reduce the minimum R2 zone lot with a 45 feet to 41 7. The site is located at 3356 Cody Drive. And we'd have the same situation here. Yes. Other questions, comments? If not, is there a motion to approve or deny? Uh, Mr. Chairman. I make a motion to approve the variance, finding that the requirements of section 39.12.011C1 have been met by the applicant. Motion by Trevor to approve the variance at 3356 Cody Drive. Is there a second? I'll second that. Second by Pat. Any further discussion? Hearing none, Trevor. Aye. Pat. Aye. Corey. Aye. Bruce. Aye. And I'll vote aye. Okay. Anything else to come before the board? No. No comments? Got that done in a hurry this morning. Thank you. Coffee time. Okay, thanks for coming, everyone. Is there a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Motion by Corey to adjourn. Second by Pat. We are adjourned.